an oxygen stealer. You are stealing any oxygen. You are not an element that is occupying space in this time. You are not a biological mistake. Or you are not statistics. When they are saying there are 50 million people in South Africa, you are not just part of the statistics. You are a great man. You are a great woman in God's prophetic program. The Bible speaks of a lot of metrics that God raised up. The Bible says that when God came unto Isaac, he said unto Isaac, when I'm looking at Jacob and Esau, Jacob have laughed, Esau have hated. But when God is releasing a blessing upon these boys, he then made Jacob to become Israel. Then he said, Esau shall be a nation too, called Edom, which we get into your minds. So he thought that he could not release a blessing upon your life. God still has got you in his mind. You are a very important somebody. Glory be to Jesus. Because now you know that I am very important because there is the prophetic blueprint that God has put in place before the beginning began, before the beginning of time. In that prophetic blueprint, you are very important. You must know that there is a place for me. That is also true for the kingdom of finances. There is a project in God's kingdom that can only move if you start to partner with your finances in God's kingdom. If you keep your finances to self, there is a project in as much as we can preach that is not going to move. Glory be to Jesus. That's why you look at Esther. Esther, she was a woman who was adopted a damsel by Mordecai, who became the uncle. But when Ahasuerus was looking for a queen, the Bible says Esther became a queen. When people wanted to be destroyed by her man, Esther became their protector and their deliverer. So you are very important. Glory to Jesus. That's why I told you that all the people, the metrics and the patriarchs that are written in the Bible, they are not just the names of people that God wants us to know about. These are spiritual pathways. When we are talking about Esther, when we are talking about Abraham, when we are talking about Jacob, when we are talking about Moses, these are spiritual pathways that if they are followed, they produce a certain kind of a believer. If I follow Abraham, I'm not just following a name, but it's a spiritual pathway to blessings. If I follow Esther, I'm not just following a woman, but I'm following a spiritual pathway to the kingdom or to the throne. If I start to learn more about Gideon, I'm not only learning about a man or about a man, but I'm learning a spiritual pathway that can help me to deal with altars in my family. Glory be to Jesus. So every time you see a man in the Bible, you must know that this is a spiritual pathway. So there is a way in which God can train you as a believer. So if God wants to train you as a believer to become something, he gives you a parallel in the world. You look at yourself and you start to see God releasing all you over your life. And you see God elevating you, even though you are coming from a listy family. Your parallel becomes a star. So you know that God is training me in this level. Glory be to Jesus. If you see yourself wanting to help people coming out, you know that my parallel is Moses. So God is training me in this area in the rest of deliverance. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody in this place. If you see yourself working so hard, people cheating you, it works even in the negative side or in the familiar spirit side. If you see people making you to work so hard, then they don't pay you in time. Your parallel becomes Jacob. So you know that God is training me in a certain way. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody in this place. So that parallel in sin is the one that gives you now a deeper knowledge and understanding of who you are becoming in God. So whenever you read the Bible, you must look for your parallel. Glory to Jesus. When you see yourself dreaming so hard, Know that my parallel 